Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Basi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy to see you here and have you part of my small community. And if you're new here on this channel, I like telling you everything about my life in London, also give you some tips or at better times, I also like traveling and taking you with me and again, showing you absolutely everything. On today's video, I want to show you how much do I usually spend on an average week living in London. And I'm going to be 100% transparent with you and show you absolutely everything that I spend money on. But the thing is, I live with my boyfriend Ben, so we kind of share most of the experience like food or a restaurant so I decided to make it to make this video and show you how much do we spend together I kind of want to show you that the fact that London is expensive doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to spend like thousands of pounds every day And let's go straight into the video. So on the very first day, I actually started filming this on Saturday. And this is usually when we do the weekly shopping. Even though if you watch this until the end, you will see that we kind of ended up going more times into the supermarket. But yeah, we do the weekly shopping on Saturday. And as you can see here, we actually ended up buying loads of fruit and veggies and milk and like this tomato sauce and also some other frozen veggies and frozen pizza and frozen burgers burgers, both veggie ones and Ben got chicken, which is quite a lot of food for 30 pounds if you ask me. And actually this was filmed at a time when uh, the fruit place right in front of me was closed so I had to buy all this packet fruit and veg and to be honest with you usually I buy it from the market and uh, there is absolutely no plastic but yeah this unfortunately it wasn't this week. We got all this for 30 pounds look at it and this is kind of what we buy every week it's sunday today we're coming back from lunch and lunch. <laughs> from lunch and we actually went to chinatown and we spent how much i think it was exactly 20 pounds because i paid oh my god because i paid 10 pounds by card There's and no reason here what do you mean it's oh yes yeah, Yes. also 10 pounds for like various things and if you haven't seen this video already where i take you with me to chinatown go check it out now it will be linked here and today is actually monday but i don't think we'll be spending any money because um i was thinking to go out now but look at the weather But I'm not sure if Ben actually spent any money today. Let's ask him. Hi. Well, did you spend any money today? No, I'm making money. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one spending the money. Didn't spend anything. So I guess no money spent for today. Good job. Just wait a little bit and you'll see like it's not really like that and here we are in the supermarket again <laughs> well because we actually wanted to have a walk when it stopped raining a little bit later but then it started raining again and yeah we just ended up at the supermarket because this is how fun is 2020 and we spent like nine pounds 19 in total you can see i really love offers so we got like this thing from the bakery then these veggie sausages Prosecco and peanut butter and if you like this type of content make sure to subscribe because I really really appreciate it and more videos like this will be coming soon and I'll be giving you more useful information about London and also about traveling and today we also went for a walk but as it was raining I feel like the only place which we go at the moment it's the supermarket <gasps> but we got so many things and I'm making pan au chocolat basically all I have done it's like put chocolate inside the puff pastry but i will show you how they end up and yeah didn't really work out as expected Ouch. and if you made it until day, day four comment down your favorite emoji so i know that you're still watching and on day five we didn't buy like anything directly we just bought our tickets to go back to italy for christmas which ended up being 80 pounds 
per person for a round trip but I don't even think that we'll be using those because um, yeah you might know that actually now Italy is in the quarantine list in the UK I don't even know if we'll be using them so you we might get a refund for those. Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you usually make yourself a budget of how much money you usually tend to spend? Day six was kind of a good day for our wallets because we just had actually this time a normal walk. We didn't go to the supermarket and we didn't do like anything in plans. So we just like went to the park and I decided to share with you for some reason here my outfit. Just have a good laugh in there. Guys, okay, so today I decided to put on these pants. Why? And I, I don't know because I never wear them so I'm like okay let's put them but then they make like very squishy sounds <laughs> when I move so I'm not sure if I like it but do you like my outfit? <laughs> On the last day, we actually ended up going to this restaurant, which is called Emilia's Crafted Pasta, which I will also have linked in here, or yeah, or in here, and also in the description down below. So if you want, you can go check it out. We went there and we had their delicious pasta, but they actually gifted it to us. So we ended up spending only four pounds 80 per person to go to, to the restaurant for the metro. And yeah, this is everything that we spent this day and here is a breakdown of what did we spend every single day of this week and to be honest with you I don't think we did that bad I think there are actually weeks when we tend to spend less but of course like uh, at this period we also try to save uh, some money and uh, yeah not spend as much as we did before I think this is kind of a good representation and as you can see we actually ended up sp spending 34 pounds 69 per person for this week or 69.39 for two people for one week and of course this is excluding the flights this en ends up to 114.69 but yeah, as I said, I'm not even sure if we're going to use those, so I don't know if they should be in the table, but just for your reference. And of course, this is also excluding the rent. If you're curious about like the rent and more kind of fixed costs, I can also make a separate video for you. But I really hope you found this video useful and uh, helped you see that London is not actually that crazy expensive if you, uh, yeah, if you just tend to eat more in and uh, you're just more cautious of your money. If you want to see more videos like that or more useful information and actually I just want to tell you that at the moment I'm actually in Greece I don't know if you can tell so more videos from Greece will be coming up and if you don't want to miss those make sure to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you especially if you're coming to live to London or you're just curious because I usually watch these videos just out of curiosity and it's totally fine don't worry about this. Love you loads! Bye! Bye.